respected dignitaries on and off the stage and my dear friends, 77 years ago, the President of USA, Harry S. Truman took a decision. He decided to use nuclear weapons against Japan with whom they were at war. A decision which destroyed thousands of people, Hiroshima Day observe on 6 August 1945, the day when an atomic bomb was dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, followed by another dropped atomic bomb on the city of Nagasaki. It is the only occasion in human history, where a nation used nuclear weapon against another nation. World War II ended after the atomic bombing but next generation had to suffer because of the radiation. The two cities were destroyed, and the victims, mostly civilians, were estimated at around 200,000, with many more people dying later from injuries and illness. Majority of Japanese infrastructure was damaged which ultimately affected the Japanese economy. The entire world was horrified by the terrible situation of nuclear attack. Anti-war movements and nuclear disarmament movements strengthened around the world. While the debate over the U.S. decision to bomb still continues, Hiroshima Day is now a focus for anti-war and anti-nuclear discussions and demonstrations, Japan gone through the worst phase they could ever face, but because of their vision, hard work, dedication, and determination, Japan has grown drastically and currently Japan is the world's third largest economy, war is never good. It causes loss to both sides. So friends, let's take a pledge today that we will always work together towards spreading the message of mutual respect and peace and will never endorse any acts of violence. And let's use this day as an opportunity to make awareness about the threat of nuclear weapons.